So here it is, the long-awaited package by UPS Ground. Pretty average sized box, probably a couple of pounds. So we're going to open it up. And here's what we got inside. Oh, it's beautiful. So the Atari VCS, this is the main box. This is the computer system gaming box. Nice and packaged in plastic. It's kind of like a shoe box. That's what this looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a heavy shoe box. So I'm going to put that down here. <clears throat> so we'll call that the shoe box. You've got your classic, it looks like your classic controller, your classic joystick that they include in, in the, I think they include this in the Indiegogo campaign mm -hmm. um, purchaser. When you buy a retail, you can, I think you choose between this or that, um, mm -hmm. or you could buy both or whatever. But part of the Indiegogo campaign was this one, and then it came with this here, which is the wireless modern controller, which is much like an Xbox controller um, or a PS4 controller. Um, they're loosely put in the bags, which is fine because it kind of protects protects them, um, and it's not overdone. Looks like it's packaged with standard bubble bubble packaging, which is fine. So let's take these out of their bags. There. I'm not sure what I want to open first. Why don't I start with the controllers? Because I'm dying to see this. Because this. This was like the, uh, oh man, this is a classic. I think I was about 10 years old when I played this. And uh, it was the first time that, you know, we used to go to the arcades a lot, play in the arcades. And um, first time they were able to bring that home, to have a home experience with video games. Boy, this is a real bugger. Hard to get this. What I need is a knife. Not to cut your hands, but to cut the controller. Uh, now be very careful with this. I guess we'll open that up. And it looks like this box here slides right off. I might even keep this just because it's so cool. Yeah, check out the artwork. You know, it's a classic uh, button. Put that over here. Let's see, so, we're going to open it up like this. I think. I don't want to rip the box, so. Let's see here. Yeah, so you're going to pull on this. Quick start. Okay, so this gives you some ideas like pressing the power button, press, hold, and pair. Okay, so that's going to be a pairing button on the center of this controller, on the modern controller. Um, this one's pretty standard, but uh, toggle home, VCS, Xbox mode. Okay, we've got a QR code here that we could use if we wanted to, but I'm too anxious to get started, so I'm not going to. Little piece of foam inside here to protect it, which is actually nice packaging, so if it rattles around, it's pretty safe. And here it is, a magic controller. Comes in a little plastic bag. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you this is redesigned. This is not the original classic controller, um, but it's a redesigned classic controller because I see how they've modernized it. The classic controller was very, very boxy, very, very plain. This has like a nice rubber padding on it, like a rubber foot. So when you're sitting on a table, you know, it sits nice, it doesn't jiggle around and stuff. So that's kind of nice. So it's got some rubber feet on it. Looks like it has some breathing fins. And it's got the, this weird side button, which the classic controller never had. Um, it looks like it's got a couple of power buttons here. We'll explore what these are for. Um, but we would play this as kids. It never had two buttons. It only had this red button. And you know, you'd, oh, it's lit, lit up. That's kind of cool. Okay. See, it goes left, up and down. Oh, that's kind of cool. Check that out. Mm. See, the light goes around and around. Now that's very cool, that's space age. So I'm actually excited about this because Atari's gone out of their way to make it cool like that, you know? So although it's retro, it's modern retro. So see the fire button? So that's gonna be very cool. So it looks like we have some kind of a, an adapter plug that we can plug into here, which the cord is underneath here. Tucked in here. Got a little belly band on it, which we 
probably won't need. But uh, so this is a USB to what is this end here called? It's like a micro USB. Like a micro USB. So yes, yeah, standard USB. So that's that's this controller. Pretty cool. Classic controller. I like the artwork on top, and I think anybody who knows Atari would know that this is Asteroids. That's that's very cool. So that's the classic. So now we'll open the wireless modern controller. Same thing, be careful with the knife. You don't want to jab yourself. You don't want to damage what's inside either. Slide the box off. Again, similar type of wrap. Find the uh, the opening. Looks like it's right here. Same deal with a quick start. Open it up. Same kind of foam. So this one rests inside nicely, kind of like the other one. But this is exactly like a Xbox controller. I mean, it's pretty, pretty consistent, right? Well, actually, I don't know. It's a little different, right? So you've got this little toggle pad switch right here, thumb pad switch right here. And you got your toggle over here, which is a lot like the, my PS4 controllers. This one too. Get your X, Y, B, and A buttons, and then these here for, you know, we'll, we'll explore what these are for here. Oh, here the light's on. So it's definitely charged, comes charged, which is nice. You got your, uh, looks like L1 and L2 buttons, and R1 and R2 here. Charging uh, port right here. And, yep, there's going to be another cord for that one here, which is good. Okay, same thing, you got a belly band, looks like it's going to be the same, like about a 10, 10 foot cable that we'll use for that. So there, so now we have the two controllers, the classic and the modern. Very cool. Okay, so we're going to set those aside, set the cables aside, and now we're going to open up the box for the main unit. This one's a little more tightly sealed than those were. It's called the shoe box. <clears throat> Let's see, the back talks about uh, an icon reimagine, play, stream, discover, customize. This is the back of the box. This is an old adventure game. I remember that one. So that's kind of cool. Let's see, one of the sides we have uh, just some information. Here are the specs right here. We're going to have all the specs right here. So that'll be kind of handy to know if you're into that kind of stuff. QR code, if we want to do that, we just take a snapshot of that and it'll bring, it to the web, bring us to the website. Um, that's about it. Then we have the four color panel back. Okay, we tell we're 4K, HDMI, Wi-Fi. Very cool. Onyx. That's the color. that's the color of this particular unit. I was I read that they will have different colors, so that's kind of a cool. wood grain one. Wood grain, cool. So again, we want to be careful with this. And what I'm going to do is save this box. I'm going to package everything neatly in this box and save this in the attic in case there's any issues with it and I need to put it somewhere, or if I ever sell it or whatever. It's good to good to hold on to that stuff. So we'll slide this off. And uh, again, it looks a lot like a shoebox. You know, you've got your asteroids there. Okay. We'll slide this open. And it looks like we have a quick start here. Okay, so we'll probably follow along with that because it looks like we're going to plug in the HDMI to the TV. And then this here is the power cord. And then we're going to pair, we could power the uh, the joysticks or the other controller, but they're already powered, so we probably won't need to do that. It shows us where the power button is and all that. So we'll follow all that. And it looks like if we have questions, you can use the QR code, which, you know, maybe I should demonstrate that. That's actually easy to do. So you go to your camera, and you go over the QR code like that. And that's all you got to do. And then what it'll do is open Atari and Safari, that goes right to the website and you can get all the support you want right on the website. That's kind of handy. The QR code. So, 
Dun 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 Okay, cool. So it's consistent. I got the foam top to protect it. It sits nicely in this little cradle, this little cardboard cradle. Wow, so it's thinner than I thought, right? Very simple. I thought it was gonna be a little thicker. Nicely packaged with plastic. You take that off. And and there there she is. There she is. Very cool. Nice rib design. It looks like it's kind of tear stepped up. See that? It's kind of like a mountain, if you will. Mm. Which is kind of like the old 8-bit graphics used to be when I was younger. You know, everything was very, very jagged. Kind of, I think of Minecraft. Everything was very Minecraft-ish. In fact, Minecraft is far more advanced than a lot of these games were. But back in the day, these games were huge. Here's the back of the device, which shows you your uh, USB ports, your HDMI port, your Ethernet port, your power port. It looks like a uh, power, power button or something, but we'll explore that. These are your vents right here. So I'm sure it gets pretty hot when it's running. This the underside has a couple of rubber feet on it. it has four rubber feet. QR code. That's the back, the bottom, sides. Pretty smooth on the sides. The front is just a smooth black panel. May light up or something. We'll find out when we plug that in. These here, these are the USB plugs or ports for your controllers. So once we get this started, we'll, we'll be able to take our cord and plug them nicely into the into the front like that to charge up your okay. controllers. What's that? And pair them. And pair them too. Yeah, exactly. So we'll be doing that. So that's the main unit. It, it's kind of heavy. It feels. See, feel how heavy that is. Oh, I thought it'd be lighter. Yeah, I thought it'd be lighter too. So I, I don't know if it's legitimately heavy or they made it heavy, like Apple phones are. They, they made them heavy. They don't need to be that heavy. Okay, inside the box, looks like we have a power head. Yep. There's a plastic bag. Everything's nicely wrapped. These kind of feel like cheap sandwich bags, to be honest with you, but, but they do the job. I mean, I don't know what else you'd need, but they're nicely packed together. Yeah, it's definitely the power head, so we'll, we'll need that. It looks like we have another... Uh, HDMI cable, we're going to need that. So we're going to use that to plug in the unit to the back to the TV, which we'll be doing shortly. And then this here is the remainder of the power cord, which we'll plug into here and then plug into the wall, and this will plug into the unit. It comes with a free snack, uh, an Atari snack. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do not eat this. This is poison, kids. Yeah, do not eat that. This is just to keep everything dry. So keep that in there. So I think that, yeah, that was it. <clears throat> There's nothing else in there. So next, we're going to um, plug this into the TV. Yeah, so we plug the HDMI cord. Where's that? Right here? Right here in the back of the TV. And then the power cord plugs in. We feed that through underneath the TV. And then we come on this side here. So what we have is the HDMI and the power. So now what we're going to do is take the back of the device and just plug in the HDMI here. And then the power. And then we're going to set that up right here. Like that. And we're going to start the uh, setup. Okay, so what we're going to do is pair these. We're making the presumption that, just like with an Xbox or a PS4, you have to you have to pair them with the USB. So we're going to plug that in. Plug in one side, and then I'm going to plug in the other side. Okay. So now I'm going to plug in the, the modern controller here, the back of the controller. I suspect that it's to charge it, but it may very well be for, for uh, pairing it. So we're going to make, we're just going to go with that assumption.
Uh, Same with this on the back of the classic controller. I turn it on first. I'm gonna plug this into here, and I want to plug these in before I turn it on, so I don't get any short circuiting or static electricity when I'm doing this, because I just got zapped myself when I was on the rug. So now that they're plugged in safely, I'm going to turn on the system. In the back, that nope. that button. No, nope. back here. There's a little red button back here. You see that? Right mm -hmm. there. We're gonna hit that. Now you can hear it whistling very quietly. See the light, the Atari logo light up. <clears throat> so we got the uh, Atari logo on the screen. So I don't know whether we need the new modern controller or the classic controller yet. Uh, let's see. So this is live. This is showing what I see. So I'm going to go with the classic controller first. Oh, it's telling me to press the button here. Right. So there we go. That's kind of cool. So it tells us the select button, the back button, which is which is here on the side. Uh, rotate uh, product specific. Okay, we know that from here. We see the red lights that go around the controller. Joystick left, right, up, down. Okay, back button. So that's what this is. Back button over here in the bottom left. Context menu on the bottom right. So let's hit the, uh, the select button. We're going to go with English, but it looks like the language we can select if we wanted to, but I'm just going with English. Okay, so we joined the network, the local network, and um, we're watching it update. It says there's an update available, so it's doing that. It's installing the updates. Start. So we'll let it do that, and we'll continue. So this has been sitting here in a loop probably for several minutes, two to three, maybe four minutes, um, trying to connect to my local network. I'm going to let it sit here for another minute or two, but I think we should point out that it is struggling to connect to the uh, local network for the second time. The first time it connected quickly to update, but now it's struggling. So I think we're just, we just need to point that out. So we'll wait and see what happens. So we had to turn the machine off and on again, and right when I was turning it off, it said that it was connecting to it. So I'm restarting it to see what happens. So we get the same, same screen. Yeah, this is weird. It's going through the same, same setup, looking for another Oh boy. Alright, so we're going to try, I'm going to try a different network. It's checking for updates again, updates available, finishing updating BIOS, restarting system. Okay. So let's see what happens now. Did you see that mm -hmm. up top? It showed the, the computer screen. Mm -hmm. So I, I would, look at this, so see, I would say this is a... This is a, the BIOS. Yeah, this is the BIOS. So this is a little, I think it has to be because it's an old system, but it's a teeny bit glitchy, if you ask me. Um, a little bit on the glitchy side, but it's all right. We're going to see how it plays. So what does the BIOS do? What is this? It's like... You know on your computer, like an older, the older computers, how you could reset them and restart them, you go to the BIOS to do that? Yeah. You'd yeah. click those buttons, like yeah. control alt, whatever. Yeah. It's, this, it's just the for the console. It's just strange to see on a console. It's usually on PCs. Hmm. It stands for something. I don't remember what it stands for. Like on Apple's, how you can do the, go to the, like before you turn on the console, you can hold the buttons and turn it on, and it brings you to that screen.
So it looks like it's restarting now after the biomes. So I would say don't be don't be alarmed. It's a little glitchy at first. You know, it's not like a quick hey, it turns on and it's ready to play, but hopefully it's just doing that for the first time setup. So, you know, the whole time so far it's probably been about ten minutes, maybe fifteen. The whole process of opening it and setting it up like this. And we're doing the same exact thing. Yes. Okay. Here's the joystick to uh, toggle down. Like it's gonna be a long way down. Or you could go B back and just accept. I'm not reading all that. I think most people will. <clears throat> okay, new account. Okay, so I gotta pick an emoji or an icon. Um, okay, interesting. They're all classic games, I think, from the Atari. Yeah. Go with this one here. Next, enter a nickname. Okay, I'm going to enter a nickname. Controller is definitely a little clunky, like it's lightweight. It's like you'll, you'll notice that it's very lightweight, but I think it's going to be fine. But it's definitely light, lightweight, kind of a, a, a cheap light feel here. You'll see. I'll let you try it and see. What so next, you're going to be asked. So you do the email, and now we're going to ask or ask to set a pin. So we're going to enter that next. Next is the uh, birthday for, ad for setting up your account. So we're going to do that next. Okay, so now we're going to verify. I'm checking my email. And I got nothing. So let me just give it a few minutes and see what happens. But nothing came through yet. Let me go to resend. Okay. Okay, so this is important. So what I did was I got off my phone and checked it on my computer and it took a few minutes and it finally came through and and I checked my junk folder. I did that, make sure that you make it not junk before you confirm it. And then I did, so then I was able to successfully authorize. So hopefully now we can hit finish with the controller. And, okay, so this is the home screen. I've never seen this, so, so you're seeing this for the first time too. Firmware upgrade is available. Okay, great. But for now, we got, I guess it's not really doing anything, but, oh, there we go. So make sure if the joystick, if it wasn't working, you press this power button and then it made it active. And I'm betting now I can unplug this from the from the system. So I'm going to carefully detach this. And again, hit the power button. And there. Let's see if it hooks up. No. It Plug it back in and it said hold the bear. Oh. We're going to plug that back in. Okay. And hold the pair. That's what it said. Okay. So interesting. So it's not working wirelessly yet, but we're going to have to look into that. Because for some reason, maybe it's the firmware update. Maybe that's why I need that. Yeah, maybe. You can go to the system and see, but go I would. System. Okay, so if you go to the home screen, the you and, and then you go up to the store, <clears throat> you go up to store. You can see, you can get access to Netflix and Disney and what else do we have? Um, I don't know. Companion, and then there's other games. Twitch, Discord, Hulu. Twitch, Hulu. That's Twitch cool. YouTube. YouTube. Okay, well, that's cool. So then we have uh, some games too, which is it's kind of funny that they charge you for these games. My impression was that they give you 
like the vault of the games, you know. I so, thought these were new games. They might be. I don't know. I think they are. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, so, okay, so that, that could be. So it looks like they've made new games yeah. for the system. So that's not bad. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, yeah those are definitely new games. Yeah. So these are like modern games. So that's kind of cool. Siggy a fart for Melusina. Melusina. <laughs> that's a funny name. So then these are, what are the free, I saw some free games too though. Uh, oh, Airstream, go up, go up, go up. Yeah, Airstream, Antstream Arcade, that's free. So, so, yeah, exactly. So it looks like you, you have some free options, some things that you can play for free. Um, let's go back to, okay, you get this little side panel thing that you could play around with too. Okay. So, so you can explore this. There's a, there's a lot here actually. So now let's go back to games. Yeah, the vault is the vault. The vault has the 14 games from what I can see. I, I thought it had a lot more because um, there's a lot of games, a lot of Atari games, like Adventure and other things. So I'm not sure how to get access to that. So we need to look into that. Okay, so again, it's a clunky thing, right? Like trying to even get something like Pong going, it's hard to figure out what to what to hit to get this get this to work. So, no, I know that, but it's tough to get it to play. Okay, so what we got to do then? I was on gallery. You got to make sure to go to play, and then hit play to play the game. Yeah, it's nice to see the new generations having a hard time even playing Pong. Come on, man. You got it's it's so hard to control. So hard to control? What do you mean? Just control it. It's done now. Got to train these youngins. All right, so that's the setup. I'm going to leave it like that. We're still going to we're going to explore with the the new controller and play around with that a little bit. We're going to play around with the 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 retro controller, which which is pretty cool, I guess. It's it's, it's okay. It's kind of cool. It does have the spinning feature. So what I'm going to do is explore this a little bit and see what other games I can get. And maybe I'll do another video on that once I master that as well. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Me and, me and Zachariah are out. So the real lesson, I guess, is anticipation. You know, you really look forward to something like this. I was really excited about it. We got it. And I found the setup to be really annoying. And even my son, the uh, my, my younger son, he... He agreed. It was very clunky and very awkward, very frustrating, wasn't easy to set up. It was very glitchy. The controllers weren't very responsive. And I think he and I both agreed that it's just a cheap, just a cheap system. I mean, you're, you're, you're more or less better off going to get one of those cheap $20 Toys R Us Atari all-in-one packages. The games themselves were um, just like you'd get on an app. I have an iPad with all the games on it, and they put it on this system. If you're the type of person that wants to explore a new a new system and maybe play around with the streaming and the new boxes, and, I'm sorry, the new games and stuff, go for it. But you can see here, this is the package. I repackaged everything and I'm going to sell it. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, really annoyed, really frustrated, but hey, live and learn. And, um, you know, maybe others out there will have better luck than I did. I'm sure they will. Um, but for me and my son, it just turned out to be a big that disappointment. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but hey, it is what it is, and uh, I wish everyone luck.